Company employees. Success depends on these people. Ursula Borchers is a seamstress who has little time to get comfortable in one position. She's been working at Vilkan for 19 years. The company produces office furniture. She has to change places and machines four times in 15 minutes. That's how long it takes to produce this seat cover. I like the fact that an item here is entirely produced by one seamstress. It's much better this way than to simply do a few stitches and pass it on to the next operator. This system also allows me to move around a bit. Production here is per order only, which means everyone has to be flexible. We use a top-up planning system. Every day I assess how long we can work that day and in the coming days. And that is important, especially with the economic downturn. Customers are hesitant to buy new desks and chairs for the office. Work weeks have been reduced by three hours. This is the boss. Jochen Hanna took over the reins of the company from his father eight years ago. His focus now is to combine technology and furniture construction in a bid to conquer international markets. At present, this family business gets 70% of its orders from abroad. Jochen Hanna studied economics and is in the third generation of his family to run the company. I think it's wrong to try to change everything. My recently deceased father always told me, understand things, don't just copy them. You have to keep the human factor in mind when designing furniture, but that factor has changed since the 1950s. This office chair costs about 2,000 euros, says the boss, but it will last at least 10 years and can be completely recycled. Jochen is convinced that quality is the key, even in hard times. What can you do when the market sinks by 20%? You're lucky if you're only 10% down. But that's the way our business is. The company headquarters in Bad Munder in northern Germany produces its own electricity and heating from rapeseed. Thanks to that and clever construction methods, Vilkan has reduced its carbon dioxide emissions by 80%. A friend of mine is a farmer, and we got talking about this idea. He had always wanted to build this kind of plant. But for it to succeed, it needed to be near an industrial facility that would buy the heat. Then it hit us. We could be that customer. The company believes its future lies in its ability to combine the digital world with the real one, like in this high-tech desktop. Similar innovative products are now being developed by the Vilkan subsidiary. After we founded the new company, it took about a year before we attracted customers we never would have had before. We used to try to figure out ways to sell a new product to current Vilkan clients, but we're really after different customers. And if new customers order standard office furniture, in addition to the high-tech desk, the boss will be happy to see his strategy paying off. Also, 